Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Bone Arrow Tarot. We're going to be getting right into it today for the weekly reading for the sign of Virgo, September 8th to 14th. Alright Virgos, new love. Wow, it's beautiful. Reconciliation. Ooh, old love becomes a new love or healing family issues. So we got three. Could be um, interrelated, could be different. You know, you may resonate with some or none of this. That's fine. Let's pull out your animal spirits. It's going to help us see what kind of individuals, what kind of elements we may be dealing with this week. What we may be resonating with this week, my Virgos. Lovely earth signs. Of course, I've done a pre-shuffle before the video, so we can get right into these decks. Bumblebee just came out as well for Leo. Whale also just came out. Interesting. And Eagle. Wow. All right. Air, water, and air. So let's get right into it with Bumblebee Energy. This is a very democratic person, the person who's always making sure everyone in the group is okay and happy. They're buzzing around. They're very social, very airy. Um, they sow the seeds of creative ideas. They're always the one who's kind of like, hey, let's get together and do this, do that. They're very kind of uh, social with their creativity, right? They like to do things with the group. They like to make sure that everyone in the group is happy. This kind of person resonates with really positive energy. The bee is a regular animal spirit in a lot of my readings, interestingly enough. Then we have the whale, which is water energy, but it's this kind of deep abiding wisdom that comes in when you need it. Um, strength, though, also. This is the strength that you need when you're going through very difficult times in your life, very emotional times. Uh, times where you may be crying a lot, you may be uh, dealing with a tr particular trauma or tragedy or something that's very emotional. Whale energy can come in to kind of lift you up and support you. Certainly when you're dealing with healing family issues, which can be very emotional and upsetting sometimes, whale energy kind of comes in to support you. It's that wisdom that, you know, you will get through it. It's that kind of inner voice in you that lets you know, yes, you, you can handle this. You can, you know what I mean? You'll be okay, right? Then we have eagle energy. And eagle is really, really interesting because the eagle kind of has this very, like, um, uh, Air, it's an air element, but it has this kind of fiery aspect of air where it's able to really pinpoint the crux of a situation, what is really needed, right? The eagle can really see into the heart of a situation um, and what is required to fix it in a way, right? It's an air, as, it's an air elemental, so we're talking about a very, an, an an animal that's about communication, it's about thought, which is all what air is about, communication and thought, the mental. Um, but it's the ability to really kind of um, mentally focus on a situation in such a way to figure out what is needed, right? What the situation calls for. Um, it's very, very um, intelligent keen insight all right and so here we go let's get into your spread virgo we're going to pull out about six to eight forecasts for the week so hopefully something will resonate with you this is probably the most spreads i can pull out that the energy will allow and this will allow us to kind of look at as many forecasts uh for the week that you may resonate as possible virgo so let's see what your spreads are all right, first out we have Hierophant, Empress Energy, and Ace of Wands. So interesting, right? Um, we're talking about Hierophant, we're talking about reconciliation and healing family issues. The Hierophant can come in this way, right? The Hierophant is sort of our moral center, our moral code that we were raised with. It can be that uh, we fall back on our upbringing, our spiritual center, and this is what helps us have a reconciliation or a healing moment, right? Some of you may be getting, uh, going back to the church or going back to your faith, and this is also helping you. 
Here in fat energy can be whale energy. It's that kind of strength that we uh, get from our faith to help us through difficult times as well. Um, a lot of times the Hierophant is simply associated with commitment, but that's an oversimplification of the card. The card talks to us about being committed to our moral and our spiritual calling and center and relying on it as a form of strength at times, doubling down on it, or finding our way back to it when we've lost it. People talk about having lost your faith or having had your faith questioned or challenged in some way, right? Um, and you kind of like rate rising to the occasion. This can be hero fat energy as well. Certainly good energy when you're trying to heal family issues. Also though, what you're bringing to the table is a lot of self nurturing. So you're not allowing uh, the healing to come at the cost of yourself, right? You're realizing that, and this could be the ego moment, right? This could be the realization that up until now, maybe you've been indulging, cer indulging certain family members. Um, you've been, maybe things haven't been healed or haven't uh, been on a road to reconciliation until now because you haven't made yourself the priority. And Empress Energy talks about making yourself the priority. Interestingly enough, on the heels of all of this, there is an opportunity for abundance coming in. So it could be also that once you heal these family issues, it opens up the doorways to an increase in your career opportunity or your abundance level or something somewhere in the area of material wealth, right? Um, it could be releasing uh, an inheritance that was rightfully yours and now that you've gone through reconciliation, you're finally able to get this inheritance. It's quite interesting, but whatever the case may be, this week comes out very favorably for you and mostly because You've redoubled your commitment to your faith and you've redoubled your commitment to yourself. Judgment, Three of Pentacles, and the Devil. Judgment has come out as well this week for a lot of readings. I want to say that a lot of my collective, at least the people who are coming to my videos, I want to say a lot of you are going to be resonating this week with opening up your minds, expanding your understanding of certain situations you've been going through. And being able to see those situations from more sides than you have before, um, understanding your, expanding your understanding of the situation and all the moving parts, the roles that everyone played. And in this way, you start to forgive yourself and those that you've held grudges against for a very long time. Again, this can indicate healing, coming in, reconciliation. Certainly, a three of pentacles can indicate a reconciliation. Now, this could be... Uh, healing a partnership where you guys were in business together and maybe you had a falling out or you were very close to having a falling out. Somewhere along the line, there was a difference in creative sort of ambition because the devil does talk about creative energy and creative focus, right? Um, it could be that somewhere along the line, someone became very selfish, right? Someone became... Uh, disconnected from their higher calling, right? And I think that for some of you, it's a case of like forgiving them as well for that. It's so interesting with the devil card because the devil card usually brings with it a lot of creativity, but it also brings with it that the danger of um, too quickly going for instant gratification and instead of um, seeing that creativity evolve to its ultimate form, kind of, you know, just wallowing um, in the passion of it all and becoming addicted, becoming, you know, self-involved, right? And really not making it to that ultimate goal. So it's interesting. It could be that for some of you, like I said, there was a partnership or some kind of project you were a part of, and it fell apart because of a lot of these kind of codependent uh, tendencies, addictive tendencies. In, in any case, this week, there's a lot of reconciliation and a lot of healing that happens in this scenario. Nine of Cups, Judge Justice, and Ace of Wands. So some of you finally get your wish fulfillment coming in. It could be that you've been waiting for a particular situation to be resolved in the court 
or to balance out for you to finally get, you know, what is rightfully yours. And so this week, the scales kind of do balance in your favor and you get your wish fulfillment finally. And I believe that this wish fulfillment is a new love coming in because Ace of Wands can certainly indicate a new love or a new relationship. A lot of times it can indicate a new project, right? Or something, a new ambitious sort of endeavor. But here I feel like it's more like a case of a new love and a love that you've been waiting for or a wish for a love that you've been waiting for for quite some time. It may be also that you've gotten a green light this week because somebody, somebody's divorce may have come through or separation, official separation, some kind of uh, official decision may have come through and opened the way for this new love to finally manifest. And it's a really beautiful thing for some of you, Virgos. King of Cups, Ace of Cups, here we go again with more love coming in. Ooh, and then Four of Cups. So someone is very much in love with you. This person has had an eye on you for quite some time, Virgo, but you're just not sure about it. You're unsure right now. I think you may be going through a lot of difficulties and maybe other areas of your life, right? Or just challenges, maybe not even difficulties, but just you're being challenged right now. And although this person is very much in love with you, you're not sure if you're in love with them and you really need a lot of time. They offer you this cup of love, but they're quite imposing in a way. King of Cups can be quite fiery and imposing. They can be quite jealous and possessive. Uh, when they set their eyes on someone and they go after someone, it's a very kind of conquering, sort of um, chasing kind of way that they do it. They kind of want to conquer you, own you, possess you. Um, it, it, it doesn't have to be negative, but it's very forceful. Um, and sometimes it can be very overwhelming. And if you're not sure what all is supposed to come with this kind of offer, uh, some of you are going to be on the fence. All right, Virgo. Now, some of you may be playing the role of the King of Cups and going towards someone this week, and they're on the fence, right? And it's just, Four of Cups just indicates that you're going to have to show and prove, right? So if, if it's you or them, whichever the case may be, whoever is is resonating with King of Cups and sort of making that proactive step step towards their love interest this week, they're, they're just going to have to show more, right? They want to see more than just a cup. What is all coming with this offer? Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and Knight of Wands. So some of you are getting, you know, the beginnings or the news coming in of a possible new, a new option or a new opportunity uh, for business or for an increase in your career. There may be talks of changes happening at work that you begin to find out about this week. Page of Pentacles just indicates the beginning, right? The seeds are being sown. The communication is beginning. The offer may not have come in yet. The opportunity itself may not have come in. But the page brings with it news of its impending arrival, right? And so this week, though, you kind of find yourself still... Uh, as a and I think as a result of this page of Pentacles, because it's not only coming for you, but maybe others have heard about it, you find yourself at a Seven of Wands which is like kind of having to defend your position. You're kind of having to come up with really creative solutions to some really tricky obstacles that are suddenly being thrown in your way. But I feel like, um, nevertheless, you have a sense of ambition about you. And I believe that someone is going to come in this week that is going to help you and support you. Knight of Wands is a very enthusiastic and supportive person or energy right it's the energy of ambition and creativity and kind of your champion right this is the person who champions your cause right who supports you um and so this person is going to come in i think this week and they're going to help you very much with this kind of struggle that you're having because up until now it's really been like you against the world this could be a friend, a new person that you meet, a, you know, a compatriot in arms, as it were. It could also be a new love interest, but it starts off in a very kind of combined working effort, right? Combined in the sense that you both share the same interests and passions. It could have indeed develop into a new love relationship, but it certainly starts off on a different level. Tower, Eight of Pentacles, and Four of Swords. Some of you... Wow, some of you have recently gone through a tower moment or a tower moment is just starting for you. 
uh, in a sense that there are a lot of changes happening. You're kind of reinventing yourself. You're having to rebuild that tower of everything that you kind of held on to before. before. Um, tower moments are moments that shake us up. They shake us, shake up what we believe in. They change us in a lot of fundamental ways. Um, the tower moment is kind of that internal shake up, whereas the death is usually an external sh transformation. The tower moment is like this internal shake up that we get, this divine moment that comes in and makes us face certain ideas that we've held on to. It's time to let go of. And so for some of you, you're going to be throwing yourselves headlong into your work, but you will find yourself as, at a crossroads in a sense that you're going to pull back from a few relationships and decide which way to go. This tower moment could have certainly involved friendships. It could have involved a family issue um, or a relationship, but whatever the case may be, it certainly was some kind of communication breakdown or change that happened that really changed the dynamic of a scenario and so although while you're working very hard because that's kind of keeping you buoyed up virgo you're also really um this week strategizing you're really kind of taking a step back to think about what is the best way forward right and and what's the best way forward to maintain your stability in your life right you want to mean you know if this you don't want this falling out or this disagreement or whatever this tower moment brought about you don't want to lose some of this you're trying not to lose some of the stability that you've worked really hard for even though the tower moment can sometimes destabilize everything you're trying to move forward with from it with some kind of damage control, right? That's the four of swords there. And so this week, you're really thinking long and hard about what the next step is in your life while you're working very hard this week. We don't do reversals for the weeklies. We have nine of pentacles, queen of wands, and five of wands. I'm going to call it right there. Nine of pentacles... Interesting. Some of you have been working very hard and you've let, you've reached a certain level of abundance with this nine of pentacles, but it's come at the price. You know, it's come at the cost of close relationships. It may have come at the sacrifice of a love relationship that you've never really been able to regain. Um, and you, although you're very happy with a lot of your sex, success, right now you are really realizing that you're enjoying that success alone. Somebody comes in this week for you, um, and I think it's a Queen of Wands energy that kind of comes in and like opens up your eyes. It could be uh, that they come in and just have a conversation with you. Um, you know, about the next step in your life. I want to say that this Queen of Wands could be somebody very close to you, who's quite fiery. This is probably somebody who's been through a lot. Um, um, I want to say this is a, f a feminine energy individual, so regardless of their gender, they're going to be somebody that really resonate with that kind of feminine, nurturing, fieriness. Um, and so... They're coming in in a very supportive way, in a way to kind of like... They're one of these people, they, they're not going to tell you which way to go, but they're concerned about you. They're letting you know, and they have a lot of experience. You may want to talk to them about some of the things that you're feeling this week. And it's interesting because it's almost as if they've come in because they are seeing that there is some struggle in your future. And that struggle is this five of wands. Five, of course, is the number for power struggle. So... They knew that this was kind of coming in. The Queen of Wands is also very intuitive. So this is the type of person who already kind of sometimes knows what you're going through, even though you haven't told them. And a lot of you will know who I'm talking about if this resonates with you. Like I said, if it's a friend, lover, whatever the case may be, family member, whatever, whatever the connection is, they come in at times when they feel like you may be about to go through something. And this week, sure enough, you have this Five of Wands coming in. Uh, it could be due to a love interest or a new love interest that comes in. Where you know, I can't really quite see what sets this five of wands off. It could be something at work or something with friends. But interestingly enough, this queen of wands can see it, and this is the person who's quite close with you. And so, for those of you who resonate with that, um, just keep a lookout for this person coming into your life or may, being predominant in your life this week. And it will be interesting to see what kind of power struggle suddenly pops up for you as a, after, after they are coming into you and, and being there for support. 
All right, Virgos, this is your weekly for September uh, 8th to the 14th. I hope it did resonate with you. If it did, of course, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell so you can get notified of all my videos. Help me to continue to grow my channel. This is what I do for a living, and um, I really enjoy it. And, you know, and I really, really thank you for those of you who have been supporting me so far through this journey since April when I started this channel. I do appreciate you so much. But for right now, Virgo, have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye now.